Hey you guys, just thought I would quickly do a couple of upgrades since I'm long due for these. Uh, I've had enough items to upgrade this this uh, armor for a while now, or any one of the other you know non-weapon items here except for the artifact and halidum. I think the items are. I, I, we haven't seen items that can uh, upgrade these to knighthood gear, so eventually maybe we will, but at least for now, um, I can choose one of these seven, either the, the helm, uh, brooch, or armor, or any of the jewelry type pieces. So uh, let's go ahead and do that, and then I also will do one more sort of, I guess, knighthood related upgrade uh, to my titan. I think I can get to the second level there, and so uh, I'll go ahead and show that um, as well. So we can go into, well actually, before anything, let's note oh, how, how my defense is right now. So at the moment I'm at 428k uh, physical defense and uh, 586, almost 587k M def. And so this is very typical these days is that... Um, uh, you know, especially for the mages and, and knights, and to some extent the archers are similar to knights in that respect, that, um, you know, whatever is the complementary defense to whatever attack type your class has, so for mages it's going to be magical attack and uh, magical defense, and then for knights in particular it's going to be physical attack and physical defense, um, you know, those that, uh, that one defense in particular is going to soar above um, the other defense. So for me, my M def is quite high, and um, and it could be higher depending on how I, uh, how I do my gems. Um, but even so, I don't have a lot of M def uh, from my gems, and my M def is still ridiculously high compared to my physical defense. So getting physical defense is quite a challenge these days, and um, and that's even with my Frigga on, which gives me some uh, bonus to my physical defense. So anyway, um, I'm going to go with the armor just so that I can show you guys the appearance change. The I don't think the stat upgrades from this gear are going to be so good that that I'm going to like cry about the fact that I don't get as much defense from this armor as I do the helm. So next up will be the helm or one of these pieces of jewelry. But I'll do the armor because there will be an appearance change and so I can show that to you guys. So I'm going to hide all of this stuff. And so right now we can see the uh, the weapon. I don't think the weapon looks particularly good, uh, honestly, but then we'll get to see it paired with the armor at least. And so let's go ahead and do that upgrade. Um, so, okay, one more time. Uh, 428 and let's say 587 because uh, it's very close to 587k. Um, 428, 587... And then we can upgrade this. So 30 million gold, uh, 300 of these divine soul shards, and 300 divine heart shards. So I've been able to do this for a while. It's not like I suddenly got, got a lot of extra of these. I've been over 300 for a while. So here we go. There we are. Nice little gear upgrade. I see my BR boosting. I don't have to do anything for the enchantments. The enchantments are all set. Um, once you get it to thir plus 36, we're all good to go. Um, as long as, you know, once you get the legendary level 80 gear, of course you want to enchant that all the way, and then you're good as for for all the the future upgrades. You don't have to worry about the enchantment cost. And so from 428k physical defense, I gain a little more than. Um, a little more than 4k, so 4,300 physical defense, and um, we're, what, what did we say for for the M def? I think the M def was at 587. I think that's what we said. No. Uh, yeah, actually, 587. Oh man, you guys, I already forgot. I think it was 587. And so actually, the M def went up quite a bit. Uh, so that's like 12k. Um, uh, so, or almost 13k. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds right. So, um, and that's also taking into consideration that I have Frigga on at the moment, which gives a 3% bonus to both physical defense and, uh, magical defense. So, uh, so there's a little bit of a boost there. So, as somebody who's using, uh, Hercules or just one of the standard selfs that doesn't give any, um, 
any, or I guess not standard, but just one of the sylphs that doesn't give uh, defense bonuses. Uh, you're not going to see as much of a boost as as this. Um, and then, of course, as a mage, I get a huge MDef boost. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different depending on class, but uh, yeah, so about 4313k. Uh, so, you know, I'll take it. I don't think it's really a huge deal, but it is it is nice for what it is. It's not a lot of work. You just sort of plot along with the MPs and you're good to go. Um, you know, I'm not going to rush this stuff uh, if I can help it. Um, and so, so there's a little BR boost. I'm always happy about this stuff, even though it's not that huge. It's just nice to upgrade something these days. There's very, very little these days that I can do for free, which is very annoying. And... Um, and I also haven't been recharging a lot, so it's not like I'm getting a ton of new materials that I can use to, um, well, I haven't been recharging at all. But I'm just not getting a lot of new stuff that makes it really easy for me to upgrade a lot of things. I do have some Holy Forge that I can do, but that's just going to be for the artifact, and um, so that'll be my last piece. Uh, but so I wanted to show this Titan. So at the moment, I'm at, um, okay, so I'm at eight stars and the le next level will be nine stars so i think that i have enough of these wraith stones from abandoned altar in order to get to uh to to do this titan's path or train your titan uh, quest and so this quest is going to give me the life titan seal card uh which is going to be a titan that uh is basically like it's not a heal rune because i don't get to choose when it's casted but um but it's it's a heal uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do 41 of these. So sometimes it'll crit, but um, that's about right. Oh, it crit a bunch of times then. So, uh, so <laughs> I trained 41 times with six critical strikes. So this time I'm gonna do a little less than that. Maybe I'll do um, just 35 of these. See how many crits we can get. Oh, and that time I get no crits, of course. So I'll just do these one at a time. Not overdo it. Of course, no crits this time around. Alright, but now I'm up to... Uh, my current level is 1-0. And uh, so that gives me 1,000 to each of my resistances. So that's nice, and then I finish that quest. So here, I'm gonna get a new Titan. It's called the Life Titan Seal card, and it's worth a thousand gold if I really wanted to sell it. Um, and there we are. So I got another Titan. It instantly restores 50% HP, so that's big. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure this will cast the second turn, or very, very quickly, and so that's not that great. Um, and from what I can tell, I don't think I can move these. So however many seals I have, the best that I can do is switch these around. But I definitely don't want to do a heal right off the bat. So I probably will go with this guardian shield at the beginning uh, still and then um, have the heal later. I think the next one, I, yeah, you get the Death Titan Seal card, which of course sounds much more attractive, and what that one is, is this really nasty bleed, and so I think um, that'll be very nice. Uh, the only problem about that is I think it costs quite a bit of Wraith Stones to get there, so I'm actually, I'm looking at this really pretty amazed that people uh, cashed up to that, that third level um or at least at well okay cashed up to the second level in order to get um that next titan because that's going to be pretty expensive um it'll cost a lot of uh bound balins if you try and get there um without just getting the free wraith stones so you get 100 wraith stones each week and i don't think there's any rush to get those um to, to get the better better titans or at least it's not really worthwhile um i would rather use those if i had the bound balance um to really push it um i would rather use my bound balance on uh on talents for for knighthood which of course are very expensive um so anyway so just plotting along there and uh and we're in good shape uh, so otherwise i think that's about it not a huge br boost uh it's just like a, a hundred uh, resistance increase for each of those titan levels so my battle protection isn't going to be anything uh too crazy i switched around my runes earlier for something 
so <laughs> so anyway so this looks a little funny but regardless that's the upgrades um and i think that's about all i had to show um i won't bother with the holy forge we've seen that a million times and um and so we have titan war coming up and that'll be good so thanks for watching you guys take care and have a very good day